Previously on Your Turn to Die, Death Game by Majority. Can't trust her, Wolf. I'd be mad if she remodeled my body to some weird superhuman meow. You know, that's, that's kind of cool because I want to be like Captain America. Hey, that sounds kind of cool. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you agree with me, KG. And now, back to. Hello. Do you want to play a game? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jarabi Therium bringing you another episode of Your Turn to Die, Death Game by Majority. In the last episode, we completed the first day of the attractions and bonded with Gin and Yana. And we found out a sad story in her past that like she turned out to have been adopted by her family. And now we're on to the second day of these attractions, which we're gonna clear three of them and then that'll be the end of the second day. All while like uh, interacting with uh, these characters and hoping to God that none of them die. Oh, we also like uh, talked with uh, this uh, other doll, so Fallen, after like uh, we helped uh, Gin with his injuries. Like she was willing to help us uh, get the medical supplies to treat him, which is okay. That's a little bit interesting. Like why why is this doll being so kind to us and such? I'm betting it's mostly due to the rules of the game. I think these dolls still are against us, or our enemy, but ultimately they're bound by the rules of the game. In which case, they have to help us to make sure we don't die. That we don't die prematurely, that we don't die the way they intended us to die. Which is pretty interesting, it's kinda like, uh, I think Monokuma did something similar, like he fed the participants of his game just because of the fact that, like, oh, we, I can't let them die outside of the game and such. So yeah, now we're going to go into the second uh, day and go through these attractions and interact with these characters. Okay, so here's the thing I have to point out, obviously. Where is the uh, victim uh, token or victim uh, you know, card that I got from this shop? I actually went back to the point where I just, like, before I uh, did the last, like, game and such, I went back and, like, uh, made sure I didn't buy it because I realized that I used Gin's tokens to buy it, which, honestly, I think that was kind of a waste. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to try and collect the tokens of the characters that I accidentally get, like, uh, you know, Q-Taro's tokens that I got from using him in the, you know, the attraction and such. I'm going to use those to buy the... The, the victim card and such and all, all, all and all that. But maybe that's gonna be a point where I do too much of Gin's, uh, you know, story and end up not being able to interact with him again. I have to interact with some of the people that I don't plan on interacting with. In which case, I I'm not entirely sure how much this is going to go, but I have to be very mindful of, like, uh, picking those, uh, interactions where I get nothing out of it. Even though I feel like those interactions give us some very interesting, like, character story. There's gotta be some kind of worth in, like, not getting tokens or something. There's no way they would allow us to be able to do that without getting something out of it. Which is, okay, I have to keep that in mind, because I still want to interact with, like, Gin and, uh, Kana. But ultimately, if I can't interact with those two, I'll interact with, uh, KG and Now. And if I can't, like, interact with those two either, I'll go with, like, uh, the other characters and such. Namely so, because I want to figure out what the fuck's going on with them, to be honest. I really do. I hate them, but I kind of want to figure out what is going on. So yeah, let's get started with this episode, shall we? Uh, let's see. Okay, here's the weird thing. Even though we got, like, a B tokens, it's not really Yen. So why is there a Yen sign here? I don't... I don't understand that at all. Maybe it's just for show. It's, maybe it's just gonna annoy me for, for, for a long while. Also, another thing, like, uh, it, it, while I was editing the last episode, like, when I went through that medical, like, you know, facility the second time, I actually noticed a Joe shadow near the window and such. And I completely missed him because he blended in so well with the trees. So yeah, I gotta really watch out for areas with, like, windows and such because I feel like Joe's gonna pop up in those areas. Or maybe in more freaky places, like maybe a lamp or around nowhere. Let's head on to the lobby. Hey there, guys. Yep, I don't know crap. Hmm. Looks like KG is questioning her about the incident yesterday. Yeah, also, uh, off screen, like, uh, I went back to that, like, uh, monitor area after, like, uh, Reko and, uh, Sara went to the vending machine. Apparently, Reko was actually in the monitor room, and, like, uh, I don't remember what she said, but, like, she was in there. Which means, hmm, maybe, maybe it was indeed Reko who destroyed, uh, Mishima's monitor. But I'm just wondering why. Why would she do that? Unless, like, she did it for now. I'm guessing, that, like, that's the only motivation we've got. That she did it for now's sake. But then, then, this makes no sense because now said she wouldn't come back to the monitor room. So why would she want to destroy Mishima's monitor? I don't get it. Well, we'll have to wait and see then. Again. We can't talk to the old guy anymore, Wolf. Aw. Got nothing else to say. Okie dokie. I'll trust you. 
Oh, Zara, need something for me? Meh. <laughs> well, <laughs> are you flirting? Learned anything? Nope, don't know a thing. It's a real pickle. Seems cute Donald doesn't know either. I'll keep up the investigation. See ya. Phew, she's gone. Sora, I've got something for you. Could you come with me for a sec? Eh? What is it now? What the heck? I found something curious here. Something curious? It's hard to see in the dark, but check out that wall. Oh boy, is that a mine? It's a mysterious switch on the wall. Notice the switch there? What is it for? I don't know, but there is an interesting note here. Above the switch are the words, bonus attraction. Bonus attraction? Uh, okay, push it. I'll push it. What? You just went and pushed it, Sora? Hey, YOLO, right? Is that the same for youngsters these days? With a loud noise, something activated. Sora, a door appeared. Is that? There's a piece of paper on the door. It reads... Room of Lies. Oh my god. Six stars. Don't be fooled. If entangled by lies, you'll die. Warning. The bonus will close once someone clears it. Room of Lies? There's a tenth attraction. What the hell's going on here? Shouldn't there be like nine attractions? Y yes, we heard that, but... And six clear chips? It's awfully suspicious, isn't it? Hey, Sara, did you check all nine attractions? Hmm? Specifically, how many clear chips you get from each attraction? Out of the nine attractions, seven get two stars, one gives three stars, and one gives four stars. Right? And all the attractions gotta be done in pairs. Ah, right! You notice yet? There's nine of us. That's an odd number. A person can't re-enter an attraction once they've already cleared it. So, each attraction will always end up with one person who can't do it. Oh, well that's not good. Even if everyone who can form a pair goes around to every attraction, the number of clear chips we get is 84. And for nine of us to win, requires 90. So, we're short six. At least one person will die from not having enough. Six? Then... If we beat this boss attraction, it'll give us exactly enough! Ain't no logic in avoiding this place, Sora. If we hadn't discovered this attraction, someone would have died! Ha, huh, thank god! Now, it's just... who does it? Who? Of course, I'll do it! But, Reko! And who to pair with? Well, so can't be trusted for shit. Gin, Kana, now, don't want to put him in danger. Kitaro, probably needs compensation to convince. The guy's a realist. What about Keiji? No offense, Sara, but I can't trust that guy. He's hiding something. Hmm. At least Alice then. <laughs> Alright, I'll pair with you. I don't even have to think about it. I'll pair with you. You can't do that, Sara. Why not? You're overworking yourself. You've saved our asses again and again, and I'm supposed to be older. I'm pathetic. I want to be equals with you, Sara. It won't satisfy me to just keep getting saved. Equals? Then don't be modest. Go with the most trustworthy. Alright, uh, go with the most trustworthy then. Lives are on the line. You should go with the person you can trust most, Reko. Sara. I would do the same thing. I don't have to be modest. Got it. Then nuts to modesty. Sara, can you be my partner? Of course. Hell yeah! I'm in your debt! Cause really, I couldn't imagine anyone but you! Yeah, the others are pretty much worthless to be honest. Let's beat this and come out safe, partner. I grabbed Reko's outstretched hand and gave her a firm shake, handshake. Then, through the gap in Reko's glove, a liquid trailed into my hand. It was blood. What the fuck? That was what I finally noticed. Greco had scratches and bruises in inconspicuous places all over her body. She had been pushing herself. No doubt, she challenged the attractions to earn clear chips for the weaker of us, like get in now. And surely, there were more wounds on the thin hands within those gloves. Greco. 
What's up, Sora? Pick it. Let's go. Ah, uh, man, I'm I'm testing the death flags here. I'm having a feeling that Reku isn't going to die. It's going to suck. It's going to suck. I just know it. Because I kind of do like Reku. I kind of, I really do. It's just that, fuck me, man. I just know she's going to die. All right, room full of lies. Reward, uh, six stars. Don't be fooled. If you're tangled by lies, you'll die. The bonus will close until someone, someone clears it. All right, let's do it. I did save, so. Let's go. Oh, wait, hold on, uh... Oh, damn, damn it. This is a room full of lies. Pretty dark. You there, Sora? Yes. Let's look around carefully. All right, hold on. I want to, like, go back a little bit, because I... I want to make sure I didn't miss out on any dialogue. Because I... This game has a thing where, like, if you progress further, you'll be locked out of certain things. So let me go back real quick. I did save, so we're good. Oh, hey there, now. Even without the professor, I'm fine. Now... Ah, nice each room. Huh, no one here. Where'd Gombi go? Oh, there he is. He seems to be in a thought. I won't disturb him. Hmm. Awful, isn't it? Hmm. Nothing else. Gotta go place. Ah, oh, yeah, gotta watch over the Joe Shadow. Don't touch it. Guessing that means, like, that thing that, like, Gid was hiding from us was indeed something that would have reminded Sara of Joe. Good thing I didn't, you know, touch it then. Okay, I wanna, like, test something out real quick. Just a, just for a second. Can I not use Sara's things? Buy it. I have to use other people's things to buy these items, so... Yeah, there's a clear chip, too. Like, that's a weird thing, because you can buy clear chips from here. But I guess, like, some people are just gonna be left short, regardless. Alright, uh, let's head back then. Alright, let's try this again. This is the room of lies? Pretty dark. You there, Sara? Yes. Let's look around carefully. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Probably gonna get fucked over because of this. They didn't say what the difficulty that's like a uh, trial even was. There's a table in the center of the room. Is it okay to approach? Yeah, approach it. I approach and examine the top of the table. These are clear chips. And on the right is a rope? On the top of the plate, with a rope-like object on it, there was, there was also a note. This is the web of happiness. In the final attraction, it may just save your lives. Oh, the web of happiness? That's astoundingly suspicious. Is this safe enough to touch? Alright, I'll take these items. Give it. Reko, let's take the items on the table. Wait, in that case, let's do it together. Uh, okay, well... Reko... You take the clear chips. Got it. Okay. I took the web of happiness. Huh? Suddenly, the lights put out. Wah! Reko? Sora, run away! Reko! Reko! What's happening? I reached for Reko's hand at once and grabbed it. Let's run to the exit, Reko! What the heck happened? Huh. <sighs> <sighs> Are you alright, Re- What? Reko's glove! Reko? She's still in the room of lies! The door is firmly shut. No! Okay, I sh shout loudly. Reko! Ah! What? <sighs> oh, scary shit! Huh? Uh, are you okay, Reko? Uh, yeah, I wasn't scared. Something the matter, Sara? <laughs> oh, man, she's scared of the dark. Sure, um, as long as you're okay. Relax, I didn't drop the clear chips. Fair enough, she has all six. Uh, it probably was more on the table, though, I'm on the feeling. Guy, which I counted. I got a cold sweat when it went pitch black. Don't do tell anyone what I was freaking out. I wonder if she doesn't like the dark. But I wonder what that was. You know, what was the lie part? Hmm. Are the clear chips fake? Is the lie that there's a lie? I don't know. Are the clear chips fake? Are these clear chips with the lie? Maybe they're fakes or something. Y you serious? They look real to me, though. Hmm. What are we going to do with these dubious clear chips? I was thinking I'd give them to somebody who ha who was having trouble collecting them, but... Sora, you need one? Huh? Look, 
I get being wary, but you've got a right to have some. Should I accept these suspicious clear chips? Uh, hmm. Well, let's see. It's like a total of nine, right? I can just like buy the others from the clear shop inside. I really want to do the attraction, so I don't think I need them. Sorry. Sora. Nah, you're right to be apprehensive with these things. I get how you feel. Tell me if there's anything I could do instead. Feel free to count on me, Sora. Hmm? Rekko's hand. Wait, is this glove not yours, Rekko? Hmm? What's that? Rekko was already wearing gloves on both hands. Oh. Yeah, that's mine. Why have you got it, Sora? When I pulled your hand earlier, I... Uh, pretty sure nobody pulled my hand. What? Then, what's this glove? Hmm, must be one of my spare gloves. Do you have spares? Really? Yeah, I think you put full changes of clothes in our room, remember? Though I don't remember bringing this. I gave her a whole glove back. Well, thanks, anyhow. We should get going, Sora. The Room of Lies. Just, what was it? And this web of happiness, what could it be? No reason to worry about it, I guess. Maybe it's about time to do an attraction. I wonder if Katie found the culprit. Okay, uh, well, I kind of want to like uh, get those actually clear t tokens, just to, just for the heck of it, because I I think that that might affect things actually. Let me head back real quick. I wonder what happens if I actually accepted those tokens. Yeah, there's six of them all right. I didn't miscount. Also, I kind of want to do this one as well, because I feel like that might affect the fact that we, we the fact that we even like talked about these clear chips. The lie is that the, there's a lie. I wonder if saying there's a lie is the lie. Seriously? This ain't some trick question for kids? Hmm, what are we gonna do about these dubious clues? Oh, okay, it didn't change anything then. Alright, accept it. We both risk life and limb for these. I'll take one. Obtain one clear chip. There you go. Hmm? Okay. We do get one clear chip at least. So that means we should have enough for like ten then. I thought I was going to get like all of them or something. But yeah, Reko's going to distribute each of them then. Oh, well, that means someone isn't going to... No, no, no. Someone is going to get the clear chips, I'm guessing. I just hope nobody lies about whether they need a clear chip or not. Because I feel like you can go over the amount required. And you can leave someone with, like, nine, I think. Alright, five clear chips. I'm actually going to keep that save open just in case it, you know, affects things. So it was this save here. So don't save on the second save. I wonder if, like, they went somewhere... Like, Rekka went somewhere else. Oh, KG. KG is talking to Alice. Was that? Understand? Buying the personal info is the only way. What are you chatting about? That ah, Sergeant Dolan. Just doing a little questioning. Feels like I'm doing my day job, huh? No, not especially. Oh, not too bad. Hmm. <laughs> what was that? I thought I overheard something totally unbelievable to the monitor incident. Hmm. Okay. The door is firmly shut. It has to do with something about this, like, vending machine, too. Like, we need 200 of these, like, uh, tokens and such. Maybe something will happen. Maybe that's, like, the ticket out of this game or something. Okay, then, let's head on to the relaxation room and do these, like, attractions real quick. There's, like, three of them, so I should have enough time to do them all. And what's this thing here, too? A long white rope. Not sure what the happiness part means. Yeah, I have no clue myself. Alright, uh, fly swatter. Let's check these things out. Fly Swatter, Pessimist 2, Clear Chip Reward, 2 stars. There's difficulty normal. Your opponent summons enemies that swarm and attack. Strike them down and defeat 3 summoners to win. Okay, and uh, Quick Draw. Participants, participants 2, Clear Chip Reward, 2 stars, difficulty easy. On the signal, quickly select the weapon that gets displayed to attack. Defeat 3 dolls to win. Okay, and then finally this one, Spirit Shutter. Participants 2, Clear Chip Reward, 2 stars, difficulty normal. Ah, okay, it's not really like the dance game. Get blue spirits, and when ghosts appear, click the camera shutter to repel them. Gather enough souls, and you win. Okay. Well, let's try out the fly swatter, I guess. Should be... shouldn't be too hard, hopefully. Set a partner. Kana Kizuji as Kana, the number of enemies summoned decreases. Okay. Now, Ikigora, as now the time before being attacked increases. Defeats... Difficulty normal. As Sara, gain something that recovers your health and you also recovers normal health. Okay, uh, let me think. Before being attacked increases. That sounds cool. Kana. Number of enemies summoned decrease. 
Uh, I think it's like, uh, you get swarm, right? Yeah, I, I think it would be great if I can, like, uh, use, uh, the lesser uh, enemies and such. So I think Kana or Na might be best, but I think Kana might be the best one for this. So partner with Kana. Lies! I'm not good with bugs, but I'll do my best. Alright, let's do it. Fly Swatter, begin. We'll start with me. Good luck! Fly Swatter rules. An insect charmer will release many bugs. Touch and defeat all of them in the time limit. Okay, you gotta touch them. Touching your allies' icon will give you advice and the like, so good luck. Oh shit. You had to move fast. Alright. Oh god, move fast with this one. Okay. Oh that god, these things moving fast. Whew. Dang it. Whew, okay. The last one's gonna worry me a lot. I think only now would have been better for this. Okay. Okay. Doing good. Come on. Oh, okay. That was close. And done. Without a single hit. At all. No damage. Won the battle. Well, you didn't do really do much on it, but uh, hey, your debuff was actually good, so yeah. At least you weren't harmed. Now, let's put these clear chips, okay? Taint a clear chip. With that, the stretching is done. Alright, time for negotiation. Negotiation time. Okay, so it's Ghana, so, and, uh, now. Alright then, uh, let's go with Ghana, obviously. As much as I like you now, but Ghana. Sorry, this is a Toki trade, but would you like to talk with So and I? Okay, uh, here to sort pitch. I've more or less gotten back to good health, Miss Sarah. I want to talk if you have time. The three of us should be safe. Sarah, this is the okay. What about now? Sarah, um, it's about Reko. I want to ask you something. Okay. Sorry if I'm asking something odd, but hasn't Reko been acting strange? Huh? What do you mean? I don't really want to say here. Recollecting strange? Hmm, so I don't get any, any tokens from this. Uh, let me think. I don't get anything from this, so I'm, been, I'm guessing, like... Ah, oh, that's a tough decision, because I feel like it's going to be important with, like, Reco's story. But... But, once again, I kind of want to interact with Ghana. I'm sorry, guys. Even if it means talking with So, that's, like, worth it, too, I guess. So, yeah, let's talk, Ghana. Hooray! Thank you very much! So... Have your memories come back? N nah, but I heard about most things from Kana. I guess I was hit in a pretty bad spot. I wonder who attacked me. He really insists on saying he was attacked. Oh yeah, there's also one thing I, I should really keep in mind. The fact that, like, he voted for Mishima still. I think he was the one who voted for Mishima. And that was before, like, So got knocked out. So, I wouldn't say that So is entirely trustworthy, even with a split personality. If so was telling the truth, then... Would the person who destroyed the first monitor and your attacker be the same, I wonder? Yeah, I wonder. When the monitor was broken, there were wood chips in the floor nearby. And I was hit with a plank of wood. Then, what about Machinima's monitor? It'd be difficult to assume that was the same person, huh? Kana and So stuck together. They didn't go to the monitor room, so they didn't see the culprit. 
but... So at the very least, it wasn't So who broke Mishima's, Professor Mishima's monitor. But as for the first one, only someone who wasn't with the group at the time could have destroyed it. Surely, that could only have been So. Sure enough, one of us destroyed it, huh? But there isn't anyone, is there? Anyone besides us? Do you mean other survivors? No, I kinda was thinking about people on the kidnapper's side. We don't know how many kidnappers there are. Ranger and Zafalan called themselves floor masters, but if there are others lurking, we wouldn't know. She's right. If there were mysterious others in the shadows, then any amount of reasoning would be pointless. But were the kidnappers destroy one of the monsters they themselves prepared? Ah. I get that you don't want to suspect your allies, but one of us nine must have done it. I... I'm praying it wasn't Miss Sara. What? What are you talking about? I couldn't do something like that. That's right! Apologize to her, so! Sorry. So, you suspect a little too much. If you can't trust anyone, it's all over. Still, so sign of thinking is certainly one possibility. Sara, but... Kana, if you're saying that... Does that mean you trust me? Fuck now! <laughs> Kana... Kana trust you, so... Yeah? You've lost your memory now, so... But in the main game, you were really terrifying. You were like kinda like you know, that one kid from Danganronpa, going crazy and talking about bagels for some reason. But Kana thinks if you weren't there, maybe we all would've died. Yeah, like... I'm wondering, what, hap what happens if we didn't, like, vote for Joe in the first part, actually? What happens then? Like, does Joe just win then or something? I think the, the goal was to figure out the sage or vote for a commoner, right? And nothing would have happened. I mean, and that's what I'm thinking. It's clear that you were very serious, so... So, please tell me. Just what mindset are you operating under? The same as everyone else. We've been going on a little long, huh? Gonna, let's go. Huh? Hold on. Hmm, interesting. He ran away from me. Well, let's have a discussions. Hmm, interesting. I'm, I'm still banking on the fact that like there is a split personality going on with So. And that maybe that split personality, the, the other side of him will appear in the next main game. Zara! Yeah, what is it? Whoa, sorry for scaring you. I just wanted to come someplace. I mean, I just wanted you to come someplace. Come over to the ruined corridor, you hear? And don't keep it waiting. Alright. What do you want to what do you want to talk about? What in the world is it? Why does everyone want me to go to some places? Isn't that kinda of like weird? Do you guys want to be talking? Just ask! Jeez, it feels like I'm a mom. Alright, ruined corridor. What do you want to talk about, Burgerberg? You're here! Nobody saw you, right? No? Where are we going? This here passage. The gap with a rubber here. Can you fit through? There's a gap here? Where does it lead? Ha <laughs> That's for you to see. Okay. What the fuck? Where is this? Oh boy. This is probably something important. Something important indeed. So let's see. Uh, rocks. Remember rocks. A chair. And a computer screen. Or some good thing. A machine emitting red light. Is this a computer? No good. It doesn't seem to boot up. Huh. You're late. No, oh, KG. This way. This way. KG? Quiet. Try not to alert anyone to this place, just in case. Yutaro finally found it. Found what? Guy's laptop, course. What? Oh boy. Wonder if like what So was saying about the password was true then. Kitaro produced a laptop computer from behind the rope hole. It was unquestionably Kai's laptop, the one we found on the first floor. You found this here? Yeah, sure did. But this laptop should have vanished from the first floor after Kai retrieved it. Why is it here on the third? Beats me. There's no mistake, this is Kai's laptop. Possibilities you can think of are either someone collected this and put it here, 
Or, Kai put it here. Hmm. Hold it, guys. Seek the truth later, alright? Sora, Keiji, I called you over so you could break into this laptop. I can't use a computer for beans. Haha, <laughs> investigating what's on it. Let's give it a shot, Sora. Alright. Okay, it's on. Please, give us some good info. Anything. Wait a second. We should come up with a plan first for what data to look for. The laptop quietly booted up and displayed a password entry screen. Hmm, not good. The battery indicator. Wh what? Shoot, it's still nearly drained. It is okay. I know the password. So mentioned in the main game. The password was Chindoan, my family's name. I entered the password. Password is incorrect. Yeah, I freaking knew it. He lied about that shit. That means everything he said about, like, uh, the Chindoans being evolved was a fucking lie. What? The password's wrong? What the? You're kidding me. What's going on? Why? So lie to us. Was So's explanation a lie? No, calm down. That can't be right. It's because he hit a button the password that he discovered Kai was the owner of the laptop. Kai changed the password. That's the only explanation. What do we do? The battery's at four percent. Sora, type in something you, only you would know. Only I? If Kai really had a connection to your family, I bet he'd use a password we couldn't guess. That doesn't really narrow it down. I don't know. My family is just normal. There's nothing special to try. Kai, just what were you thinking? Connection to me. Our family's got a hero in the shadows, Sora. Ah, her father. F father? I entered another password. Starting up. Welcome. Whoa! Nice job, Sora. All right. Dad. I just typed in Dad's name. Did you know Kai? The power is on 3%. What do we do? Emails. We'll send the emails so talked about. Okay. Email log. So suspected Kai after reading those. We need to confirm whether those were real or all lies. I opened Kai's sent emails. Sent email 1. As planned, 17 people have been secured. Just in case, is there no error in the date of the death game? Everything is proceeding smoothly. Email 2. I feel a deep affection for Miss Sara as well. I will certainly protect her. I am prepared to offer myself up for the Jindoans. Email 3. It's about time. If any harm comes to Sarah Chindoan, I will stand against even you as an enemy. Email 4. Miss Sara is looking forward to the games. Surely her friend will also take part. I'm just wondering what this part here is all about. Like, why is why would Sara look forward to these games? I don't get it. I don't get that part. There they are! Yep, exactly what So said they were. Then, So was a lion? Huh? Hmm? Wait, these emails. We just read them in reverse order, from newest to oldest. Oh! Then... I... Fuck, fuck, Christ, I forgot what they said. Hold on. Can you read, read that again? Sora, there must be received emails corresponding to those... these two. Right, I'll check! They opened Kai's list of received emails. There! Sure enough, there were conversations over email. Sort them out! Rearrange them in proper order! I saw the emails and began reading. They should tell us Kai's actions. Grouped email number one. Hello, hello. Oh, what the fuck? Receive emails. Hello, hello. Did you know? Sara's going to a board game meetup. Wonder if she's going alone. Papa's worried she might make some bad friends. Miss Sara is looking forward to the games. Surely her friend will also take part. Oh, okay, that's what it meant. We're probably, we're probably just like, you know, thinking about it this wrong. Kai, I never told you, so when did you find out? I swear, about the only time I have any idea what you're up to is when you're at there at home replying from your computer. Ah well, keep up the guard work. Thanks a million. Th this insipid message. That's exactly how my dad types. Oh. So, your pops and God, we're in communication? Garfield, what's that about? 
Work emails too. Die. Betray us. Betray the organization. Betray me. It's about time. If any harm comes to Sergeant Doan, I will stand against even you as an enemy. Unforgivable. It's all come to nothing. Just try and struggle with your puny arms. Hey, the guy in this email. It's not my father. From the context, maybe one of Kai's parents. And it says Kai betrayed the organization. Kai's parents? What do they have to do with this? Organization? Kai, just what were you doing? Group email number three. Hello, hello! Feeling kinda in danger lately. Well, okay. It's Sora they're after. She's being targeted. I'm attached to this house, but I guess I gotta discard it and run. Will you come with, Kai? I feel a deep affection for Miss Sora as well. I will certainly protect her. I am prepared to offer myself up for the Jomans. Oh, God. You really are the greatest hero ever. Thanks a million. Another conversation with my father. Dad knew that something would happen. Discard this house and run. Zara, were you making plans to move soon, say? I didn't hear about that. I didn't hear anything. Settle down. Keep reading. Group email is number four. Are you the contact? You should know not to use this address. I'll hear the report, but follow the rules from now on. As planned, 17 people have been secured. Just in case. Is there no error in the day of the death game? Everything is proceeding smoothly. I see. You've done well. On a most futile effort. Thought you could pretend to be my contact and disrupt things, Kai. Oh, you're at home right now. Away from the Chindoan house, aren't you? I've got a tip for you. The phrase you just sent, X people have been secured, is the trigger that sets the plan into motion. You fell for the trap, Kai. Sarah Chindoan will be captured soon. Thank yous. A million. Oh, what the fuck? It was her father? This one is... from the day of the kidnapping! What's the big idea? I I'm not following at all! I'll sum it up. Kai was in correspondence with two people. One was Sara's father, and the other was one of Kai's parents, who belonged to the kidnapper's organization. It seems Kai portrayed the organization, and he chose instead to protect Sara. And to do that, on the day of the kidnapping, Kai sent a fake email to the organization. Maybe the idea was that it disrupt the organization, letting Sara escape. But his ruse was fully exposed. He just got used instead. Because Think He's a Million was the sign up used between Kai and Sara's dad. The emails were going straight through. All of their exchanges went to the organization. No way! Then. Then. Kai wasn't a stalker at all. He guarded me in secret to protect me. And the only time Kai left his guard duty, it was when he sent the emails from home. That's one crafty trick. Even after his cover was blown, I'm sure Kai was still trying to warn me. That night, coming home with Joe, that's why he stood in my way. Then I remembered what the stalker had been saying. Don't. Go home. Oh, did he actually say that? I can't don't remember. Hmm, interesting. The bar has gone dead. Couldn't get any info related to the escape after all. But still, sure enough, Kai wasn't a good for nothing villain. Is that information really beneficial? There are still things we could check. If you just get charged, we'll boot the laptop back up. Sara. You hold on to it, Yutaro. Me? Yes. For the time being, let's not tell everyone else about it. It's a secret weapon just for us three. Make sure you don't spill the beans. I gotcha. So then, we should act just the same as yesterday. Yeah, I'll hide the laptop in my bedroom and go do an attraction or something. Hmm. Yeah, what if it'll get stolen again and it'll go down to me and KG then? I'm having a feeling. We should get going too. Yes. We left the roller filled room. How do you even get there? That's my question. Day 2, noon. Huh? 
Tara's alone. What happened, I wonder? Okay, hold on, let me check this out area first. Jin, do you want to have some tea? Hmm, I want soda meow. I don't have any, so is coffee okay? Why would it be, Wolf? Heh. <laughs> Okay, let's check the ruling corridor once again. This doesn't be a plug nor a core that will be needed to power a computer. Monitor without power. Hmm. Oh, hey, Rekko. How long has my body been like this? Oh. Is she bleeding out or something? I hope that's. I hope that doesn't happen. Wait, how long has my body been? Is she sick somehow or something? Could be possible. Monitor room. Oh, hey, KG. I'm sure Alice would. He's buttering something. Huh? What's up, Sora? Nothing. Feels like he's playing something. Hmm. Yeah, I'm wondering about that, too. I mean, medical office? Hey, Joe Shadow! I'll be leaving now! <laughs> oh, Kitaro! Guess what the hell is that venom machine? I don't know, but it seems useful. Somehow. The guy get those clear chips and all that. Okay, Kana, what, what do you got to say? Sora! Kana, aren't you with So? He doesn't seem to feel well, so he's sleeping. And it seems Alice is keeping an eye on him. Yes, he seems like he has a kind side, too. Is it kindness, I wonder? Hmm, well, that's nice. That's nice. Brody Cam must be tiring. Yes, I'm just a little tired. Well, should we rest together? Ah, uh, um, I'd like to, but. Ma Sarah, I found something curious while exploring. It was over towards the ruined corridor. Couldn't be that room we found, could it? Sarah, I'd like for you to come with me. Which I do. Uh, don't don't confirm my laptop. Uh, oh fuck, and I wonder if it's gonna be something really a joke. It's gonna be fuck. This is the thing. It's like I gotta think about this carefully. All right, let's go together. Got it. Let's go together, Kana. Thank you so much. It's gonna fuck me up, isn't it? Joe's gonna fuck me up. I just know it. All right, what is it? Okay, we made it to the ruined corridor. This way, it's through a passage in the back. This is a different passage from the rubble room. Sure is dark. Who knew this was here? If you go all the way back, it's even darker. She seems like it's a trip. Don't let go of me now, Kana. Of course, sis. Uh, sorry, I mean, Sara. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> Being with you like this. It really feels like I'm with my sister. I didn't know what to say to that. In place of words, I held Kana's hand as we walked through the dark. Here it is! There's a door right here! It's pitch black. Did you peek- did you peek inside? No, Kana and So both lacked the courage to open it. Ah. I'll go in first. If it's not dangerous, you'll follow. What's this? Huh? What's this room? Strange. It feels like I've been here before. Oh, fuck no. Kana, it's okay. Come on in. As I was saying that, I turned around. What? Hold on. This is... The first trial room! Bad memory surfaced in my mind. The very first death trap was tested by here. If he hadn't made the proper judgment then, I would have died. But I wonder why. Something... Feels different here. I'm coming in! Kana. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh. Ah! Oh boy. This is the room where sister was. Because of me. Calm down, Kana. I held Kana tight. I firmly restrained her trembling shoulders. Ah, God damn it! Sorry, we're getting distraught. I'm fine now. Kana, I'll leave the door open. Wait outside the room for me. Okay. This was Kana and her sister's room, where they took that same trial. I can't make some Kana search it. Huh, interesting. I wonder what kind of, like, game they had. That's my question. Okay, I guess Joe wasn't gonna fuck me up. Thank God. Oh, man, I was kind of worried about that. What's this thing here? There's something on the ground. It's a smartphone. If Kana and I had the same exact trial, this was probably the phone used to play the voice instructions. Did the kidnappers forget to collect it? This is here. 
Tana system might have had it. Which means, maybe, there's some message left in it. A message from just before her death. I have a bad feeling. I don't want to touch it. I'm scared. But if it's some clue... Ooh. What if it's actually uh, Joe's phone? I'm going to feel that might be Joe's phone. Like, did he ever mention that he was that he lost a phone? I don't think he ever did. But I'm going to feel that it is Joe's phone. There's no. It's, it's just so sim similar to Kai. Kind of like a trial, I think. But I, I, I'm pretty sure they had different trials. I think. Yeah, don't take it. I can't run away. Damn it. Okay, fine. Check the phone. Please let my bad, bad, bad feeling be wrong. I picked up the smartphone. Didn't have a password on it. And it locked easily. The moment it opened, I went as white as a sheet. You abandoned me, you awful sister. I hate you. Go die. Just die, kinda. Murderer. I'll curse you from hell. What the fuck? You abandoned me. You awful sister. I hate you. Go die. Just die, kinda. Murderer. I'll curse you from hell. What? This can't be. This is just too much. Kind of sister died. Loathing her? I can't. I can't tell Kana that. Sarah, are you okay? Kana's behind me. What's the matter? It sounded like you yelled something. Three steps away. Not good. She sees the phone. Hide the phone. Kana, someone's coming. What? I slid the phone in my hands under the bed. Is there someone there? Somehow, I'd managed to hide it without Connor noticing. Yeah, sorry, did I surprise you? Oh, so, I came to call you for you, Connor. So? <laughs> Quite the dark passage that was. Uh, that was too. Connor Kizuchi, rejoice. Shall the three of us trade tokens? Huh? Huh? Tokens? Yeah, we shouldn't talk in a place like this, so let's head ba back for now. I understand. Um, thank you very much, Sarah. Oh, fuck. I was saved by coincidence. Huh? Aren't you leaving, Miss Sarah? Ah, yes. If I took the phone now, so would find out. I'll recover it later. Damn, it's like... <clears throat> Us three will do the token trade. Sergeant Owen, you should take a hike. Alright, fine. Fuck you then. Okay. Gah, as long as they're here, I can't go get the phone. I'll have to come later when there's an opening. Oh, yes. Sergeant Owen. Huh? What? What is it? Well, I just happened to overhear that youngster Gin talking, but... It seems there's a ghost in the medical office. A ghost? I don't know the details, but go take care of it. Are you afraid of something? Obviously! I can't go do the attractions until something is done about it. When he tells me that so directly, it's hard to muster the will to refuse. <laughs> oh well, I'll make you a priority to do something about the medical office kills. This is probably Joe, and we're gonna get fucked over. Thanks a lot, Gunby! I'll be Alice! Sorry, we're going to discuss a token trade. <laughs> You're not welcome, Sergeant Owen. Can't you go away for now? Molly, feels like he's getting a little kind. Being a little <laughs> kind, yeah! Sorry, Zara. Ah, oh, fuck me, man. Sorry, Kana. Your, your sister probably hated you in, in the end. Or rather, I'm having the feeling like the kidnappers actually put that there or something. I just I just cannot think about it. That was Kana's trial room. Sorry, he seems you used to go that way around. Should I come with you, Basara? No, no, that's fine. It'd be hard to go there right now. Okay. Alright then. Hey, Ken. I'm sorry. Is it tasty? Is it. Oh, sorry. Is it tasty, Ken? Kathy's bitter meow. <laughs> You're a grown up now. Ha, <laughs> that's a good smile, kind of cute. Okay, uh, let's uh, check the, all the other places right now. Hey, Sora, found the laptop charger? No. Figures. The more noble it is, the harder it is to get here. Hmm, yeah. Alright, medical office. Oh, come on! I don't have to check out the fucking ghost, do I? Come on, guys, no! Okay, well, blah, blah, blah. Come on, no, guys, no, no! I can't fucking do that! What are you doing? No way! What the fuck? Hold on, can I just do an attraction? Come on! Please tell me I can just do an attraction. Now there's a fuck. what the fuck? Why do I have to go and check out the joke ghost? The fuck? God dang it. I have to actually fucking do this. 
Or can I just, like, do something else? Please, guys, come on. Please have mercy. Can I talk with Gin or something? Or anything? Can I talk with you guys? Come on! No! Oh, God. Alright, let's just bite the bullet then. Hey there, Joe's ghost. How, how's it been? Something is faintly reflected by the glass. Joe is there. Not again. It's a hallucination. I must just be hallucinating again. Hallucination worsened by 20. God dang it! Ugh. What was that all of a sudden? Hallucination. Gotta ignore it! How long can I suffer? How long am I going to... I approach the closet, but the hallucination doesn't go away. In fact, I can only see it more clearly. Don't tell me. This is... What the? Joe? No, he's not reacting. What? What's wrong with my eyes? What are you doing? Oh, hey, this Fallen. Don't go opening doors without asking, please. This is a Fallen. Oh man, I was actually stuck in a situation where I couldn't fucking do anything. Are you serious? Ugh. All right then. If you need something, please just let me know, and don't go searching around your own. Oh, what is this? The Fallen. Tell me, what in the world is this? Well, um... What's in there is a doll. A doll? You must have seen it before as well. A doll of Miss Gunner, a doll of yourself. Come to think of it, I do remember using a doll that looked just like me in the mirror room. Do you remember now? Yeah. Uh, what are they for? What are they for? What's the purpose of these dolls? They are one of the experiments done by our organization. I cannot say anything more than that. Hmm. The more I look at the doll, I felt it might start moving at any moment. It's like, Joe's really there. If it pleases you, do you want to borrow it? D don't be ridiculous! Who would want this thing? One of the purposes these dolls were made for is a mental relief. A precious person you can no longer meet. You can talk to them, or have them beside you. A doll is a doll! I don't need it! But you're distressed, aren't you? Please be honest, Miss Sara. You need salvation! Oh shit, creepy eyes! You have regrets. If you desired it, you could have joined hands with Joe and escaped together. You gave that up and killed Joe. And you mourn that fact. Stop it! Facing Joe Tazana, that is your only path towards salvation. That's not! Stubborn, I see. Then just for you. Allow me to show you a wonderful function that will make you feel even closer to this doll. Quit it, you. Ah, oh, Kenji. Isn't that a little too much interference? Maybe you're not a villain, but you're sure not normal. I apologize. I went too far. I won't speak any more about dolls. However, if I may at least offer a suggestion, I have a device for healing mental wounds. Please, come here before your hallucinations become so intense as to destroy your mind. Oh, thank God. That is all. Well, so long. Are you okay? <sighs> I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. Can't say I'm surprised. Want to sit down for a bit? Okay. Sara, did you... Did you... Like Joe? Yeah, he was a close friend. I don't know. I, he was just an acquaintance. He was a close friend. He was... A close friend. No one else was as foolish, soft-hearted, and cheerful as him. Yeah, I'll bet. He was someone important to you, regardless of liking or love, right? Yes. Come to think of it. You had someone important to you too, right? You said you'd tell me about it if you survived the main game. 
by Dad. It was back when your good old policeman was still in grade school. If I had a single mother, we weren't affluent. So I went to visit friends. I had to borrow my mom's errand bicycle. And the brakes on it were busted. So one day, I fell off and the bike went sailing into a river without me. The embarrassment of being laughed at by my friend, and the pain of losing my mom's dear bicycle got me weeping like nobody's business. And there on the scene was the friendly neighborhood policeman. He left into the river and fished out the bike, and even spent hours at the police box repairing it. Soaking wet and awkwardly cool, he was my hero. So he was the person important to you? He's what made me want to be a policeman. I'll never forget it. It's a precious memory. Hmm. Alright, were you able to reunite? Since you became a policeman yourself, did you two reunite? Hmm, yeah. We probably... It's probably the person that he was talking about that he, he ended up killing. Well, there's lots of different policemen in the world. Okay, that's the end of the story. You calm down a little? Yes, thank you very much. See ya. You can always depend on Mr. Policeman. Hmm. I wonder if the whole thing about him being a policeman was a lie. That, like, maybe he turned out to have been a criminal and, like, he ended up meeting that policeman and killing him. I'm wondering if that's the case. At any rate, I've learned the truth about the ghost of the medical office. I got a fucking dumb fucking increase to my hallucination level. Thanks a lot, Dombey, you fucking asshole. I want to get moving. I'll continue clear of attractions. All right. Fucking Christ. Level 60. Fuck you, Gombi. Just fuck you. All right. Let's go, then. Anything else to say, Count Gen KG? None? Okay. Oh, hey there. Uh, <laughs> you're back again. It's me, so far, then. I won't leave my post from now on. I see. Please trust me to care for your minds and bodies. Speaking of which, Bissar, would you like to forget a bit about the hallucination corroding your mind? Forget? Oh, it's probably gonna cost some freaking tokens, though. Yes, it would be bad for them to harm your mind. Please consider it while you can still recover. I can forget... Cho? I will ask you again. Masara, will you use this device to forget your hallucinations? Which I do. Hold on, cancel real quick. I'll pass. Understood. Please visit any time. Alright, let's see what happens if I do this. It's probably gonna, like, uh, spend time or something. Let's do it real quick. Alright, let's try forgetting. Alright, do it. Yes, don't worry. It's a very comforting device. Here we are. Attach this to your head. Hey, is this really okay? You're attaching all this stuff to my body. It's alright. Most of these devices are for massaging your shoulders while we're at it. My shoulders aren't stiff, though. Well then, here we go! Ah! Uh. Ah. Ah. <sighs> How was it? Doesn't your mind feel refreshed? Huh? You're right. <laughs> what is this? It doesn't seem real that I was suffering. My mind feels so clear. Those days your level went down to zero. Forgot about Joe a little. It's dangerous to use twice, so you shouldn't use it anymore. Right, got it. Thank you, Safalan. It's not as if you're fully cured. Please be wary of any future hallucinations. Ah, I see. Alright, thanks, Safalan. I hope this isn't for the rest of the game, though. Because that'd be really difficult to try and avoid all this shit. Alright, then let's head on to the realization room and like do this like, uh, attraction. The second one. Okay, so Spirit Shudder. Get blue spirits, and when ghosts appear, click the camera shutter to repel them. Gather enough souls, and you win. Alright, so the partner. KG, Reko, and Now. As KG, stored energy will not decrease over time. Okay. And what about, uh, Reko? As Reko, her attuned senses give her a premonition slightly before ghosts appear. Easy, huh? Okay. And Now. As now, the energy gained from blue souls increase. Okay, uh, let's like go with Reko then. Actually, uh, she kind of has like a lot, a lot like uh, clear chips at her disposal. Isn't it? Isn't it kind of like, a bad idea to give her extra? But actually, maybe she'll give it to others about something. Not entirely sure, but let's go with it, Reko. Actually, let me like let me, let me save real quick. All right, let's do it, Reko. Ghost, hold up, Sara. I need some courage. <laughs> hey, don't worry. We'll be. We'll do. We'll do fine, Reko. 
We beat the dance game, so we should be able to do this. Oh no, sorry, I can't even scared it's too dark. Spirit shudder began. We'll start with me. Yikes! Enthusiastic even in the face of ghosts, huh? <laughs> oh, you guys are so cute, Rekko, when you're afraid of ghosts. Spirit Shutter rules. Touch many blue spirits to collect them. Don't touch the red spirits. When ghosts appear on the screen, quickly press the red shutter button to drive them away. Okay, let's try it then. Touching your allies icon will give you advice and the like, so good luck. Okay, don't touch the red ones, right? Oh god. Yeah, I gotta be careful with the big ones that appear. Oh, Jesus, a freaking ghost, though. Maybe Rekko was right. This place is scary. No, oh, okay, I already did it. Alright, I was scared to actually uh, hit that, like, ghost. Won the battle. That wasn't too hard. Hell yeah! Piece of cake, Sora! Here's a clear chips. Half and half. With that, the attraction is done. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better with this, like, uh, attraction so far. Negotiation time. Okay, so Reko. Uh, Kyutaro and now. I can finally talk with, like, now, finally. Sora, want to trade 30 tokens? Oh, 30 tokens, jeez. I've been thinking about stuff. In the end, your own tokens are useless, right? So I wanted to make sure that I could trade for some items at the price exchange. How about it? 30 tokens, let's your trade. Hmm, that's quite a few. Well, let's think about it. Hey, Kyutaro. Sora, got some time? Want to have a chat without trading for once? Uh, here's your pitch. Never sat down for a chat before, have we? Not a lot of occasions we have the time. That's fine if you're busy, though. I'll buy it. Hmm. Let me think about that, too. Then now. Sara, if it's okay with you, can we trade 30 tokens? Ah. So I'll get both 30 tokens for, from either of these two. Um, I've been too scared to trade tokens at all. I've been worried that trading will lead to something bad happening. But everyone seems to be doing it, so now it's just making me uneasy. But if I can trade with you... I'll feel secure. 30 tokens, that's a fair amount. Yeah, I do have enough, like, yo, me tokens to do it, so I gotta really, I gotta really, like, uh, exchange these for something. I got, like, seven clear chips, too. Alright, let's save real quick, and then let's talk with now. I think I'm gonna choose now for this. Here you go. Thank you very much, even just for talking to me. You want to trade that badly? Yes, I've hardly traded with anyone. I've got quite a lot left. I thought it was about time I started trading these. If it's okay with you, I want you to be who I trade with. Really? Why with me? What of the personal info risk? Why with me? Huh? I mean, there's no one I could feel more safe than with you, Sara. If it were so or Alice, um, it'd be a little scary. But, Sara, why, I wouldn't even be opposed if we traded our own clothes. <laughs> I don't really know where that came from, but you trust me that much? Please, don't hold back on me. If you can't do it, just turn me down. It's kind of scary, but I can consider asking someone else. Sara, would you trade 30 tokens with me? What should I do? Should I make this trade? Alright, sure, trade. Understood. Let's trade now. Thank you so much. You're very kind, Sara. Alright. 3 to the tokens with now. Well, that's it for negotiations. Hmm, we don't really know more about these characters, to be honest, when we do these, like, trade tokens, but I'm noticing. It must be really the case, like, if we get nothing out of, like, talking with them, that means we get to know more about their story, I'm guessing. It's about time I go collect the smartphone Kyle's sister left. I absolutely can't let Kyle find out about it. Yeah. I'm not on the feeling that things whole, the whole thing's a lie. Might be. It just might be. Alright, let's go to the room corridor. And get to the kind of Stroud room. I made it here without being found. Now, just have to search. Mm, might not be there anymore. I searched everywhere under the bed. The smartphone is nowhere to be found. What? Where did it go? Gone? How could it be gone? 
What are you looking for? Could it be this phone? Ah, shit. So! Huh. I wonder if I hit the bullseye. You took the phone? Well, yeah. <clears throat> What's your aim? Did you read it? Give it back. Did you read it? Did you read what was on it? That cruel message? Of course. A hateful message written to Kana by her sister. Or rather, a problem made it to seem that way. <laughs> Just think about it, would you? Do you think she could write that message while on death's door? Huh? I recall there was a time limit in the first trial, wasn't there? Would someone who didn't want to die give up so soon and leave a message? And one with line breakers and capitalization? <laughs> I mean, there's only one answer here. This message was fabricated. Fabricated? Yeah, I had a feeling. Amazing, huh? This is definitely trying to drive Kana into a corner. Just a solid ball of malice. Some people will do anything to harass. Like they're on Twitter or some shit. Right, Sora? Yeah, you kind of gave a point there, so... It was you, wasn't it, Miss Sora? What? You're saying I wrote that message? I saw it all unfold. You set that phone the place under the bed. What are you saying? I hate it so Connor wouldn't see. I I keep it if I wanted to show it. What a false accusation. I hate it so Connor wouldn't see. I didn't set it in place. I hate it so Connor wouldn't see it. Hit it, huh? It's obvious that Connor would search his room eventually. The feeling that maybe her sister left something behind would guide her here. A message on the phone she found herself. She'd be taking it head on. A heaping helping of despair, and this time, it totally destroyed her. I wonder if you intended to offer Kana a hand in the depths of despair to make her depend on you. Cut it out already! I can't help but be mystified by your methods of gathering trust. Ever since the main game, I've been wondering. S since the main game? So you do remember it, so? So, you, your memories? Yep, I lied about losing them. F lied? What was I to do? Certainly couldn't let myself be singled out if I wanted to get clear chips. Of course, I didn't expect to trick you, sucker. But as long as I could find just one total sucker, that would be plenty. I'm a fool for even being a little worried. Well, doesn't matter. You and I aren't going to get along at this point. When I'm around everyone else, I like the same as before. <laughs> what, what so things doesn't matter? I'm getting that phone back. I'll destroy it for Connor's sake. You've got a ghastly look on your face. Are these your true colors, Sara? I... Yeah, if I try to take it back by force, it'll be suspicious. Do nothing. I can't lay a hand on him. I don't know what so might do. I can't use violence carelessly. See ya, Sora. Wait! Ugh. He got me again! How does he keep doing that? Oh, damn it! Can't stand people like him! Fucking Kamina types! Despairing, I put that room behind me. Yeah, that sucks. Then I wonder who left that message on the phone then. But it's so go. I can't just ignore him. Yeah, but I have to do... I, I guess we're just looking for so then. Damn it, even after all the searching, ain't no sign of a way to escape. Goddamn main game, I don't want to do that shit twice! Yeah, I'm having the feeling the phone will come up and we might run into some trouble with like, so using it against us to form a wedge between Sara and Kana. That's gonna suck. I'm pretty sure it's Kana's trial room. None here. Yeah, none. Oh, now. Hey there now. Ah, Sara. Sara, how are you using the tokens you've gotten? Well, I mean, I've been like, probably more sitting on them, to be honest. Well, I have been training them. Yeah, of course. We know nothing about the death game, so it's best to get more info. Should I buy a prize, I wonder? Hmm. I don't know if I want to do that, to be honest, but maybe. Alright, maybe the medical office. Maybe you're there for some reason. Oh, hey, again. Thanks to Sara. You look pale, meow. I'm fine. Hey, okay. What are you doing here, again? Please bring yourself at home. Tell me if you have any requests. Requests? How about no? Don't use the device. 
I'll pass. Understood. Please visit the time. Okay. All right, then. Long stairs. Oh, hey, Gombe. This is a rather gloomy place. I'm fond of it. Yes, it's black, like my soul. All right, sure, Gombe. Whatever you deserve. All right, Monta, I mean, we're there, so. Zara. Kitaro. Wait, Kitaro. We're not done talking. What is it now, guys? The two went walking towards the lobby with an imposing air about them. Keiji? Oh boy, what happened? What are you guys doing? You guys didn't buy anything here, did you? I don't think they will be able to get Sorrow's info because they didn't trade any tokens, to be honest. Oh yeah, speaking of tokens, me tokens, 60. Clear chip, 7. Yeah, key 3 to now, and Gin has like 40, but he has like 0. Kitaro has like 10 of them. Oh hey, uh, Kitaro, what are you guys talking talk about? KG and Kitaro are having a dispute. What's the meaning of this? Why? Talk to me, Kitaro. Oh, did he break the laptop? What is it, you two? Sora. The laptop's been taken. What? Sorry. Wh what do you mean? Who took it? Ghana. What? I handed it over to Ghana. No charge on it, so I thought it'd be fine. You handed it over? So must be pulling the strings. He used Kana to have her strike some kind of deal with Kutaro. That's... You have to have noticed, Kutaro. You knew that, and you still accepted the deal. Why? How could you hand over Kai's dying gift to someone else? I see. Sora, I'm gonna search for Kana. I'll go too. She went towards the ruined corridor. I don't know what she got into your head, Kutaro. But it seems I overestimated you. It's too bad. Let's go, Sora. Right. Hmm, what the fuck is going on now? Kutaro was hanging his head. Yeah, but what kind of deal did they strike? Hey, Kana. <laughs> I hope the guy you're not on, on the bad guy's side. Kana! Would you come over here and talk with us, Kana? I... There's nothing to talk about, is there? Sorry, so. I don't approve of you flirting, KG. So! I knew it! Hey, Miss Sara. On a date with KG? I don't think this place is all that exciting. I can say the same to you. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. A tingling electricity filled the air. This is far from a friendly mood. Well, I'll get straight to the point. We want the laptop back. You heard him. What do you think, Ghana? I can't do that. And you heard her. Give it up, KG. I was the first one to find the laptop anyhow. Am I obligated to give it back to you? You can't unlock it anyway. What do you intend to use it for? What's yours is mine. <laughs> What's yours is mine. Our laptop! Yeah, we're not in capitalism anymore, so we're in communism. What do you intend to use it for? What do you intend to do with it? Get some useful information, of course. The truth that Kai Saito was trying to protect. Aren't you afraid? Afraid of me seeing what's on this laptop? I'm very curious just what you could be hiding. If you're suspecting us, then I think you're going to be disappointed. Then, let's sit down and check that. Seeing as I did find a charger. What? Now, Kana, give me the laptop. Don't, Kana! Look at me in the eye, Kana! So, you promised. If Kana brought the laptop, you would give her that. That? She doesn't mean... Want me to go first, huh? You're surprisingly cautious, Kana. Yes, as promised. Here's the phone. Huh. Stop! What are you thinking, So? I'll show you the truth. Stop, Kana! You can't take that! Your sister held this in her last moments. I hope something's left on it. Kana! Don't look at it! Kana traded the laptop for the phone. Oh no. Uh, it's over. It's all over. Sister... You...
Aww. Sister. I, I love you too. I love you. Sister. Um, no. This is a completely unexpected reaction. Kinda is crying. Yet, they aren't tears of despair. Even though she read that message? So, alter the message? I've got the laptop. Got nothing left to say to you guys now, Miss Sara. Hold on. You might not, but we sure do. Sheesh, you're stubborn, huh? Quit getting into quarrels. We're all in the same situation, with collars around our neck. Oh, now that I notice, his scarf is actually covering up his, like, neck. I didn't think about it, to be honest. He might not have a collar. Or else maybe, you don't have a collar. Huh? Because I've never seen your neck. <laughs> wow, you're suspecting me because of that? I've changed my mind. Let's do a trade. Trade. I will turn the laptop. If you give me 50 of your tokens. You should surely have most of your own tokens still, KG. You can't lie to me and say you don't have enough. Trade tokens for the laptop? Don't do it, KG. I don't know. I don't trust this guy. Don't do it, KG. With 50 tokens, you can buy your personal info. Ah, that's what you're afraid of. Don't get me wrong, if you gave 50 tokens to Miss Sara, that'd do too. Huh? What's the matter? If someone as trustworthy as Miss Sara, even giving 50 tokens should be easy. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, so what the fuck? KG. Why are you hesitating? Make it quick. I'll give them right back. Why are you hesitating? There's no reason to hesitate, KG. Why aren't you talking? <laughs> <laughs> well, now, I guess that was mean, KG. I did intend to tease you. Here's my apology. Can you see it? Oh, he does have a collar. Go ahead, get a good look. Sure enough, it's the same collar. I wonder if it even works, though. That's my question. Does it work? So, now you accept it. The trade is over. Have a nice date. Damn it, dude, this fucking asshole. KG. He wouldn't even move. Oh man, that's probably what So was even intending. He was trying to get something out of like KG, like a reaction of some kind. Now he knows that there's something in KG's like a uh, record or something. Something that's very important. He wouldn't give me his tokens. Sara, I I think he wants to so distrust, so I wanna say I'm not bothered. I don't think I don't think I think there's gotta be some reason he just doesn't want the record to be shown. I'm not bothered. I'm... not bothered. Let's forget about it, right? We need to do attractions. Wait, Sora. I got myself away from there. I'm not bothered. KG must have his reasons. There's no need to feel shocked. I need to be strong. Damn. Hmm. Is it exhaustion? I didn't realize I fell asleep. The pillow was wet. While I was sleeping, I... My tears won't dry up. Even after all my crying over Joe. Ah, uh, man, it's gonna probably increase the thing, so... We need to do attractions. I managed to rest, however briefly. It's strange. Crying yourself asleep lets you forget things. I regained the energy to stand up. I need to continue with attractions. Yeah, let's do the last attraction for the day and, like, you know, get done with this. Oh, man, this plot is actually getting intense, guys. It's like, damn, I'm feeling so invested with this with this whole conflict with, like, So and all that. I really am. Hey, Kitaro. Yeah, he gave away the laptop to Connor for some reason. Hmm, so So did change the message on that phone. I wonder why he did that, though. Like, I really think he's trying to get a reaction out of us. He's trying to get some reaction out of all of us really i think that's what his intention really is all right then uh let's do one last attraction then in this relaxation room and it's gonna be the quick draw one apparently it's easy as shit so 
Alright, on the signal, quickly select the weapon that gets displayed to attack. Defeat the three dolls to win. Okay, select the partner. So, Reko, now, go, go with So after all the shit he did. As So, you can see the type of weapon that will be displayed in advance. As Reko, your intimidation lengthens the time between the signal and the enemy's attack. And as Now, with her observant eye, she can sense a premonition one second before the signal. Okay, uh... Let me see what this thing input's about again. Oh, for some reason, Reko made it harder for some reason. Let's say, uh, let's uh, go with like now then. Fuck so. A premonition one second before the signal though. That's like weird. All right, partner with now. Let's do it. I just do it. I'll observe like I'm drawing a picture. All right, let's do it. Quick draw begin. We'll start with me. Good luck out there, Sara. Oh, wait, is this a reference to Pokemon? Quick draw rules. A weapon symbol will surely appear on screen. Quickly select that weapon to attack. If you choose late, your opponent will attack first. Choosing wrong will also get, get you attacked. Oh shit. I mean, I gotta like. What beats what then? I'm not entirely sure. Hold on. Oh, I gotta select that weapon to attack. Alright, let's try it. Touching your allies, I'm gonna give you advice, Mike, so good luck. Okay, got it. Gotta move fast. Okay. Got a gun! <laughs> Jesus, gun! Oh, a fucking samurai. Watch out for this one. Damn it! I missed it. Okay, we're doing good so far. Alright. Next. Oh shit, what the fuck? It's a fire demon or something. We're just gonna fight him with a knife and a gun and a metal pipe. We're gonna bash the skulls up with it. Damn, it's like that was fast. Damn. It's actually fast. Ah, this is it for me. I'm almost beginning to breathe. Okay. Okay. She'll ding and like I can get it. Damn. I'm always in a bad position where like the thing is far away from me. I gotta like keep him in the middle. Yeah, okay. Okay, whew! That last part was such a card. We did it. Won the battle. Sara, you need it back safely. Let's share the clear chips. All right, one clear chip. Here you go. With that, this attraction is done. Ugh, <sighs> man, that was rough. Negotiation time. Gin and KG. All right, what do you have to say, Gin? Thanks to Sara, I'll give you 20 tokens to if you listen to my request. Now, so this Meow Chan cushion I'm holding has gotten dirty, Wolf. It's really important, Meow, but I don't know how to clean it, Wolf. Emergency rescue, Wolf! I need your help, Meow! Okay, take care of the clean things for 20 tokens, huh? Yeah, I might actually have access to his, like, a uh, thing now. I look about it. And then KG. Zora, no token trades. Can we talk? Okay, here's a short pitch. What if you don't even want to spare a word with this here policeman? Zora, no token trade. Can we talk? Okay. Uh, let me like uh save real quick, and then we'll do more stuff. I, like I have enough to get Gin's like full things, so let's go with that. All right, twenty tokens here. Let's go. Thanks, meow. So what happened? Um, well, I've been doing attractions and exploring. The meow chan cushion I'm always holding has gotten dirty, meow. Ah. <laughs> They're my partner, meow. I want you to help, Wolf. Partner. Huh? They do attend to match expressions. It's good to treat your belongings with care. I want to help, but... Is Meow-chan a material that's safe to wash? I mean, sorry. Is Meow-chan a... Yeah, blah blah blah. It's okay, Meow. They're made really well, so you can wash them again and again, and they will get red, Wolf. That's one gutsy cushion. But there's no washing machine around. Hand washing would also take water and detergent. Um... That was a follow-up. Shall I wash that cushion? Me? Meow? Melon soda lady! Where'd you even come from, Wolf? Uh, I'm sorry. 
Um, I just so happened to have the surgery in the medical office that I used with creative machines. I'm not handing meow chat over to you guys, Wolf. Go off and drink your melon soda, meow. Yes, sir. Why are you saying that's all of a sudden, Safalan? Uh, well, all of you are important participants, so I'm doing to give you the most hospitality I can. Who tells you that? The floor master. Is Ranger really saying that? Of course, I wouldn't imagine being cruel. I will return Master Mew and Sharon in a clean state. I've had my fill of lies for that loner meow. Beat it, murderous melon soda. Woof. Wait, Ken. So fallen. Do you vow to absolutely keep that promise? Yes, I vow to make Master Meow Chan clean with no dissatisfaction to Kin. I see. This is Sara. Are you seriously thinking of handing Meow Chan over to her, Meow? Yeah, why not have her do it? Well then, I will quickly make them clean, yes? If you say so, Big Sis Sara, I'll believe Meow. Please, Wolf, don't do anything mean, Meow. Yes, I'll be right back. Yeah, still is the nicest doll we've been through so far. Yay! This is for clean, Meow! It's true. Even the stains that look like drool are gone. Those weren't there to start with, Woof! Thank goodness. Master Meow Chan is truly sturdy. He's great, huh, Meow Chan? <laughs> Somehow, it feels like Meow Chan is happy. Hmm. Belly Soda Lady, Woof, you did it, Meow! Thank you! If you just quit the death game, I might even be your friend, Woof! I think you may be mistaken. I'm only showing you hospitality because you're all participants. It's for your own good that you don't assume we can understand each other. Hmm. If we're done here, I'll be leaving. It's a little interesting. I wonder what's like up to the dolls, actually. I am noticing the fact that like, the dolls are somehow important within the story. I, I think they are. The fact that we're seeing them all over the place. And the fact that like there's dolls of our characters. It must mean that like, once upon a time, these dolls must have been participants in this game as well, but altered in some way, shape, or form. I'm having the feeling that that might be the case. What the heck, Meow? She takes me off, Meow! Well, it's all good. Meow Chan got clean. Woof! Thanks to you, Big Sister Sara! <laughs> Here's your tweet took us this promise, Meow! Ah, right. That was the deal. Alright, accept. See, 20 tokens from Gen. I guess we'll call this the cleaning fee. Yeah, I need you to take it seriously, Meow. Thanks, Wolf! Aw, oh, the fucking gay guy's also doing something. That's so cute. Right. Call for me anytime, even if you don't have the tokens. Got it, Meow! I'm happy to make him happy. Well, that's it for discussions. Nah. This is Sarah. How was it this time? You dirty it up again! What is it, Ken? Fix this now was at the price exchange, Meow. She seemed really pale, Meow. I'm worried, Wolf. Got it. I'll take a look. Thanks, Meow! Hmm. Uh, what's going on now? Is this just now okay, Meow? Don't know. Don't know, but something bad's gonna happen, I'm just guessing. It's gonna be a good way to end the episode off, I'm guessing. Uh, this is Sara! Now? What's the matter? You've gone white. I... I... Bought it. B bought what? A victim video. Huh? I thought it could be a clue to escape, but I'm too scared to watch. Please, would you watch it with me? Ah, I see. Yeah, this is gonna be one of the other, you know, victim videos I couldn't... Apparently there's like some I can't buy. I have to find them, apparently. But, but... Um, close your eyes. Just be there and holding my hand would. Oh, and if you could stroke my back and cheer on me like you can do it. I'm definitely not coping, you're just like going to a panic frenzy. Tell, tell me that. I don't know now, your eyes are telling a different story. Can I shut my eyes on such a thing? But I don't see refusing being an option. Now it's just as exhausted as me. Alright, let's watch it together. Understood. Let's watch it together. Ah, thank you very much. I'm sorry about this, Sara. Apparently, you can view it in the monitor room. Let's go, Sara. Yeah, I can, like, buy these as well. I, it's still here, by the way, the first victim, like, video and such, but I'm not gonna buy it just yet. I'll probably buy these before the very last of game with some of these tokens I got on the side. Alright, to monitor room, let's go.
I'm starting it up! Now it's heard the victim video into the machine in front of her. Oh! I'll hit play. Okay! I selected the center monitor to hit the play button. <sighs> oh, a police officer? The screen showed a woman in a dim room, tied up in chains. Stop! Please! Help me! The woman is wearing a suit. No, a uniform. Is that a police uniform? I only did my duties. Is she talking to someone? Got anything else to say? Oh, fuck. It's KG, isn't it? Huh? Unless I sell the score to you, afraid I can't move forward. Just don't put it do with this! Oh, wait a second. This man in front. He looks just like... Please! Press the switch! I... No! That's enough! I can't watch anymore. The chains around the woman's body tore her apart. But what disturbed me even more was the man in front of the camera. Now, about that man. Man? Did she not realize? Didn't he look like someone? That man we saw from behind. Don't you think he looked like someone? Sorry, I didn't pay that much attention. I just felt so bad for the woman, I didn't notice. No, that's understandable. I couldn't ask her to watch it again. But I'm sure of it. He looked like Keiji. What's the meaning of this? Sorry, Sarah. Even though I'm the one who bought the video. Sarah, you're so strong. Strong? Being told that made me realize how much I'd gotten accustomed to this cruelty. Even such a horrible fate befalling someone I didn't know wouldn't face me. My senses are getting numb. <laughs> I guess I've really lost it, haven't I? Sorry. Now hook me gently. You haven't lost anything, Sara. Right. In Nao's chest, I regained a little composure. Damn. In that video, the policewoman and the man in front, it didn't seem like they had no connection. And also, that man was Keiji. Yeah, was, mm, that could be very well, like, what he was trying to hide. The fact he did, he probably participated in the main game once upon a time and was trying to hide it all, but why? There's too much to think about. My head isn't working. I should get some sleep. I need to rest. Day three. Morning time. This will be the last day, too. Ugh, my body's steadily getting more tired. I need to keep at it. Alright then, that's probably all of it. I'm, like, I'm, I'm reaching like, you know, two hours of this recording session, so I think that's the perfect time to end this episode off. So anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Your Turn to Die, Death Game by Majority. If you did and would like to see more, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down in the comment section. And if you have not already, I would like for you to leave a subscribe. That would make me a very happy person. And I promise you all that I'll be around for the next episode. Until we meet again, guys, I bid you all a fun farewell.